What's wrong, Yi? Are you out of your mind? Why didn't you jump, you suicidal monkey? The protector way is better than the destroyer way. At least according to Begum. She could be right. In fact, I'm sure she's right. She's not the only one. You were right too. I've been a traitor to my own kind. Going on about my cushy life in the human world. And all the time the humans were tearing your world apart. I'm sorry, Bosh. <laughs> You've got nothing to be sorry for. Anyone should be sorry. It's me for hating you when all you were trying to do was help. I wasted so much energy thinking of ways to kill you. Hey, you know something? I got more happiness out of the one moment when you and I went off the cliff together than I ever got out of all the days of plotting your death. Just like my human, when he comes home late from a party, then he usually leaves all the lights on and falls asleep in his underwear. Hey, am I your new best friend? Better not say right now, it'd just be the coconut milk talking. Aw, oh, come on, dude. You're my best friend. You won't tell me if I'm your best friend? Okay, you're my new best friend. So I'm your closest friend and you won't even tell me? <laughs> I think I need some water. Genjis, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Genjis, I give the world to... So long, I've forgotten what it's like to be a tiger. I know, I know what you're thinking, that I'm a coward. And you're right, I am a coward. But at least my head is still on my shoulders, not hanging from some hunter's wall. You're not a coward. At least you had a good excuse for doing what you did. Not like me. You did it to save your life. I did it for HDTV. But I see now, this isn't about one jungle. It's about every animal whose home is being destroyed. You said it, dude. And that's why we need you to be our voice. No, he will not be our voice. Because we're not going to die. What fools we've been. Did we really think we'd get them to change by complaining to one set of humans about the misdeeds of another, when all humans are the same, cruel and heartless? They'll spare none of us. Not you. Not me. Not... I won't let them do that to you, V. I'm taking him back now. We must all go back now. While we still can. We're not going to Delhi. There's only one person Mom will listen to now. If he doesn't come... UV. I know how much you miss him, but your father's gone. He's never coming back. But Mom, how can you say that? He's right there. Please, can't you see him? No, I can't, and no one else can either. Actually, I think I can. 
It's Sultan, all right. It's Sultan big as day. Yes, yes, you can see him. All you have to do is look. But not out there. Here. In Yuvi, in his tiny courageous heart that got us all started in the first place. He's here in the friendship between Alex and Bajwangi. I mean, what kind of crazy miracle is that? He's here in your love for the cub that you and he brought into this world. That courage, friendship, and love, they're the essence of Sultan that would keep him alive. Whoever says that they can't see Sultan while they're just not looking, because he's right here! I've been wondering what my role in this whole journey was to provide comic relief and a bit of shade. Maybe this is it, to make you guys understand that Sultan is alive in UV, and alive in each and every one of us. Together on this week, there'll be a 